What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a 20 card PSA reveal for y'all. This was sent at the $19 uh, value bulk rate. Um, I sent them in I think at the end of August and just got them back today. So about a two and a half month turnaround time. Um, definitely got some money invested in this order. Got a lot of uh, select gold baseball cards in here. I bought on auction on uh, eBay. Um, so I'll try to space them out for y'all just to kind of keep things interesting with the reveal. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So first card here is a uh, 2013 Select Gold of Albert Pujols. This is number 11 of 25. And hit the 10 on this one. So really nice card here. Was uh, definitely excited to see this uh, when the grades popped All right, next up is a 2013 uh, Select Gold of Freddie Freeman. This is number 7 of 25. And this one got the 9. So, not a bad grade though on a card like that. Somebody will want it in their collection. All right, this one is a 2023 uh, Topps Finest Gold of uh, Masataka Yoshida. I know he was in the mix for uh, Rookie of the Year for a while and hit the 10 on this one. So this one's a pop one, number 29 of 50. So really nice card here. All right, this one is a 2022 um, Topps Chrome Sapphire of uh, Justin Verlander. This is the gold out of 50. And hit the nine on this one. But still a really nice card. One I think will uh, sell well at my local shows. All right. This one's a 2014 uh, finest of Calvin Johnson. This is the blue out of 99. And Got the nine on this one. Not sure what I missed. Looked pretty clean. Um, but nice color match here. Be an affordable card for somebody's collection. All right. Terrence, man, this one's for you. This is a uh, 2020 CD Lamb rookie. This is the pink. And got the 10. So nice card here. I know we were talking, uh, you know, this guy doesn't get a ton of love, surprisingly. But, you know, I think that's Dak's fault, personally. I think his quarterback kind of sucks. All right. This is a 2022 Obsidian of Lamar Jackson. Um, this is the uh, Purple Flood out of 16. And this one got the 9. So, still a really cool card, though. One of the thicker cards. Man, I thought this card was perfect. It looks centered up to me. Um, but, yeah, still a cool card, man. I think I got a buddy uh, at one of the card shows. He likes the, the Ravens, so I'll see if he wants to pick that one up. All right, this one. This one's a big card. This is the uh, 2013 Select Gold Bryce Harper out of 25. I was really hoping this card would come back before, uh, you know, they got knocked out of the playoffs. Um, but this one hit the 10. So pretty big card here. Um, you know, one that I had picked up in the auctions on eBay. Yeah, it was Super excited about this one when I got that uh, grade back. That's a big card. All right, next up, a couple of uh, Mariners cards for uh, Gabe. If you're watching, man, this is the uh, 2013 Select Gold of Ichiro, number 13 of 25. And this one got a 9. Um, and I think this was after he left the Mariners and went to the Yankees for that brief little stint. Throw that in. Uh, 
that the nine pile. All right, next up, man, this guy, you don't hear about him too much, but he's like one of the best, uh, you know, pitchers of my generation just watching baseball. This is a uh, select gold of Felix Hernandez, number four of 25, and this one did get the 10, so really nice card here. Underrated player in the hobby, in my opinion. All right, next up, so one for my PC. This is the um, 2013 um, Prism of uh, Kobe Bryant. This is the red, white, and blue mosaic. And hit the 10 on this one. So good looking card here. I like how the red kind of matches up with the PSA label. Heck am I doing? I'll put a 10 in the 9 pile somehow. Alright, next up. I think this guy, I don't know if the um, awards come out yet or not, um, but I think he's going to win Rookie of the Year. This is the um, 2023 Bowman Spotlight of uh, Gunnar Henderson. This is the Atomic Refractor out of 150. And this one got a nine so I was kind of sad about this when I seen the nine this is a really cool card man um I had been like buying up some of the spotlights and I didn't even know they made like this atomic refractor till like one day it came across on a eBay in an auction so I was able to scoop it up but man that's just an awesome card promising young player there I think Baltimore is going to be pretty good for a long time even though they got kind of Knocked out of the playoffs really early. All right. This is another one for the PC. This is a 2004. Um, let's see. This is the um, Top's Finest Gold X-Fractor. This is out of 139 for A-Rod. And got the 9 on this one. Not sure what was wrong with it. Um, only thing I could guess is maybe like the back um, corners. Might have had like a touch of white. But they always grade this set hard, man. I, I've never gotten a 10 on uh, this set or the uh, year prior on the gold X-Fractors. And, I mean, they're out there, man. They're on the they're on the pop report, so, you know, it's possible. <clears throat> All right. This is a 2020 uh, Topps Finest Gold Refractor of uh, Justin Verlander. And hit the 10 on this. This is number 23 of 50. I think he's kind of, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, this is his last year. I think he's over 40 now. But, man, he's surefire Hall of Famer. One of the best pitchers I've ever watched. Freaking uh, Yankee killer, too. This is a uh, 02 pristine of Randy Johnson. I already have the Kurt Schilling in this card, so I'm going to pair it up with this uh, Randy Johnson. These are out of 149, and this one got a 9, unfortunately. One that usually comes, you know, encased, but this one didn't. But, um, man, I, I couldn't find nothing wrong with it. It was clean to me. So, not sure, man. Not sure what they saw on that. All right, next up is a 2020 uh, Prism of Randy Rosarena. Another um, pretty good player for the Rays. This is the uh, Teal Wave. And this got a 9. So, probably a pretty cheap card and a 9, maybe like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, but still kind of cool. Nice little color match there. All right. Um, here's a uh, 2013 um, select gold of Yadier Molina another player I think that doesn't get a ton of love um, I think this is the first Yadier I've bought um, so I might try to start picking him up you know he's a really good player for a long time um, let's see this is number 6 of 25 and this got a 9 I actually had somebody uh, make me an offer on this but it was a little bit low so I'm gonna hold on to it till you know the price is right on on these. 
I mean, most of them are pretty rare, you know, probably the pop count of like five or below on all of these. I select golds. This is the uh, Tory Hunter, number 15 of 25. Another player that gets like no love, was like a great outfielder for a really long time. Uh, hit the 10 on this one. So this one, so when he was in Detroit, so he had already left the Twins. Most people remember him from the Twins. But man, that guy's a damn good outfielder. All right. This is the uh, Justin Verlander, number three of 25. And this one hit the nine. And last up is a CC Sabathia, uh, 24 of 25. And this one hit the nine. You know, he's actually sold like fairly well for me, surprisingly. He's a really good pitcher for a long time too. But um, that's it for this order. Um, coming up, I do have my car show in Longview. That's going to be a week from Saturday on the 18th. So make sure you all uh, stay tuned for that one. I'm going to try to do another vlog for you guys. Uh, if y'all are new to the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe. You know, it really helps me out. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.